Right guys, I thought I'd just recorded a full trip, the first full trip on this vehicle and I hadn't, I had it record. So I'm going to have to do another little trip on this sort of military type truck. Um, one that doesn't really brake very well. It's a bit difficult to get down corners because of the length of it along with the trailer. But we'll take it from where it is and we'll... Uh, find a job and see how we go on and I'm just going to do a small job with it um, I can't believe that I didn't hit the record button I thought I had and I hadn't so this is a bit of a fuggly vehicle but definitely built as a workhorse and not for comfort. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's not the best looking vehicle in the world, is it? But the engine on this is so powerful, it's unbelievable. Uh, the trip I've just done, I forgot to record. I actually had um, four or five forklift trucks on the back and it pulled them as if there was nothing. The length of it though is a, is a bit of a killer because when it comes to cornering and coming down bends and stuff and heading into single lane parts of the motorway to enter the motorway, it's difficult to get down. You forget about the trailer and it tends to get a, a clout or get stuck. So uh, it's a, a bit of fun. But this vehicle is fast as well. Mega fast. So mega fast with brakes that don't work very well and how to get down corners, it's fun. <laughs> So that's where they are. So let's pick a little job. Something that's worthy of this. Uh, where's that to? That'll do. That might be worthy. A bit of a heavier load. And we'll see how we go on because I've just took it into one of the worst places you can get in and out of so here we go I'll just give it a quick look uh, as you can see it's not built for comfort or joy it's built as a workhorse uh, here we go trailer's gone already that's good so let's start it up let's, go. And let's try and get it turned Oh, while, uh, while I'm at it, let's just show you on the outside. Let's just go around a little bit beforehand. And I'll show you. Watch them front wheels. Move together. Which makes this quite a powerful vehicle to get down places. But also, when you look at the overall length, it's a difficult vehicle to get down places. So, here we go. Let's take it in gear. As you can see, it is difficult to get in and out of places. Mainly because of the size of it. It is a very long vehicle. By no stretch of the imagination. It is a very long vehicle. Let's get it out of here. Watch, here. Watch what we want being here. And it looks like it is. So we've still got to go up here then. Take the job. And of course we've got to get in and out of here. Which is mega difficult. Even with a normal load. So yeah, it's in here. So okay. here, we, here go. we go. remember there's no brakes on this it work properly. There is brakes but they don't work very well. So we don't over there. Let's go forward 
again. Oh, 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 oh see, I mean, no brakes, no brakes. Yeah, still can't see where they are. That's a bloody thing. I'm going to have a look from over the top. There we are, if you look at the length of that vehicle. You can see the distance between that and the trailer. Um, it's a long way, believe me. It makes a big difference to driving this vehicle and getting it out of, in and out of places. So let's make sure we're there. We're in the right spot. We are. Okay, let's go. But he just pulls loads like this as if there's nothing. He's a very, very much a workhorse and very powerful engine. What is not going to go right across the road? I don't mind going up on pavement a little bit. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. Oh, it's got a blocked off the light, so I can't see. Here we go. I'm going to swing out further away because it is very strange at getting things around them corners but it feels that way so here we go on its second job because I forgot to hit record on its first job so it's a bit of a cheat this I've had a, I've had a job I've done a job haven't I oh, the desk. it's a bit of a, a cheat I know it's a it's clearly the synchronous is a, a little bit now, don't I? Okay, let's find a new route. Oh, hold on, you said stay that way. I wish this woman would make her mind up. I want to start making my own mind up about what she's, which way to go, rather than listen to what she has to say. Unfortunately, I've no longer sat now in this. So I've got to use this. Right, can I get out of my way? This is a, as I was saying before, it's a very fast vehicle. Sounds like a sports car when it's going. And it's quite stable as well. Yeah, that sounds like a sports car. fuel I better go and get some fuel that's a it's very thirsty as well um, within a few for a few miles it had drank a quarter of a tank um, half a tank by the time it got to France that's after filling again and now I'm just coming out from there and down to under half a tank so let's get this filled so it's a very thirsty machine as well being a powerful machine with brakes that don't work. But it's fun to drive. Here we go. So let's go again. In the streets it was a bit, it behaved a bit better than I thought it was going to do in, in the streets. Uh, at the lower speeds, it was a bit more easier to control for stopping. So let's see how we're going to go on here. Can we 
you see. There's not there, is it? Oh, that's good. This right as well. Keep right and then turn right. Yep. Board. Should be able to shoot past his bus pretty soon. And it's a powerful engine, this, and it's a fairly fast motor. It does look like I'm going to have to stay over this side. Keep right and then turn right. It was a bit late, wasn't it? I was already dead in the night. Sun is starting to rise, is it? Yeah, it's coming up to 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, just hit me in the side for no reason whatsoever other than being an idiot. If you couldn't see a vehicle this big, armor plated like this, must have been blind. Must have been a Mr. Magoo. Let's take this for a little run now. Now let's see what we can. Let's see whether we can slow down a little bit and go on to the outside. Let's have a look. It is a thuggly vehicle, isn't it? But, but uh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, I don't think that was a good idea, do you guys? Maybe I should have waited for another straight. Oh dear, I nominate Patricia for the ace, but it is ain't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Nothing else I can do. Good job this isn't um, a serious trip again. Finding a new route. Find a new route. You do that. <laughs> you find a new route and I'll try and see where they have to get out of here. Um, right, so is that just straight on? It's looking that way, isn't it? I think we have to get around the block. We're going through McDonald's car park, are we? It's a mini, mini roundabout around the back of here. This could be fun. Should have stopped for the Mackey D, shouldn't I? There we go. This could be fun. 
this is massive with a trailer on. I think I'm just going over the edge of it, right? But never mind. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. I'm finding getting down something like this could be a bit of a problem. Sports car sound. Don't see, never mind. Let's move it in there so we can see something. And let's try not to chuck it on its roof again. Keep right and then keep right. One don't stop. Lifting me up, I look a bit too much. Keep right and then turn right. I think that instruction was a bit after as well. this up as far as it'll go. It's off the clock on the bottom clock of mine on the tablet and it's still gaining speed. This is a fast truck. Pulls very easy. Is this one I do at all? It did. Before it hit the bend there, so right way down now, but bend. Otherwise, I'll be chucking it back on its roof again. Wow, that's a fast vehicle. As you can see, there's plenty of room for that engine. Pulls everything behind it as though it's pulling nothing. Real workhorse. Yes, it's ugly. Yes, it looks military. But yes, it works. Definitely one for Siberia and places like that. It's where you need a, a workhorse. I might say I want to look at some of the, uh, the pictures of the real thing. So I may, may have to do, I'm just tell me to move over and just go past him. Tell me to move over that side. Okay. I just want me to keep left, that's how me to go, go right. This is saying keep left, so which one is it? This one, because the last minute is an arrow pointing to this side. No effort whatsoever. Mm. 
makes me laugh, it sounds like an aeroplane when you put your foot down on it. Does that not sound like an aeroplane taking off? Definitely sounds like an aeroplane. That course is only over the top. Keep right. Going far too fast. As I say, it's major, major right. and then exit difficulty right. is controlling it in the city with no brakes or a brake that doesn't right. work very well. It's more reliant on deceleration than actual braking. It's fairly stable, I mean, I did run up a car before and turn it over, so, you know. Let's, let's bring it back down into near where it should be. You go within the speed limit, stability is going to be bang on. about looks and you want a powered house this is a vehicle to want most definitely
He keeps you on your toes a little bit, but it is enjoyable to uh, to drive. And it's fast even when you don't want it to be. It's got two sounds this engine, sports car and fighter jet, or well, fighter aeroplane anyway, not jet but a uh, propeller one, I think, since this. Definitely drawn of a propelled vehicle isn't it? It's definitely like a sound I've heard before from a, a plane, whether that be a Spitfire Exit or a right. Hurricane or something like that. Definitely not a Messi Smith 101 or anything like that. Go straight up. It's got that, that drone. Keep right. Definitely sounds like a <laughs> a fighter plane or some sort. Of. But when you first start start off from a standing still, if you get this vehicle, listen to it. it sounds like a racing car. So it's at a certain limit, and then and it sounds like a a fighter plane. Still got a fair few hours to go on this way, it's only really several miles away, I need to get some fuel. So, so I'm getting really low, it is a, definitely a gas guzzler. So we better a bit of luck, whoops. Bit of luck, we'll have a petrol station creep up on us in a bit. Right, and then exit right. Mm, starting exit to get sort of right. desperately low for for fuel now. Soon be on the reserve.
can both look in all and see where the nearest petrol station is. Turn it over again. Oh god almighty, that's twice in this trip. And that one I didn't I wasn't really going that fast and I didn't flick it either. So god knows what's going on. And I still need fuel. Okay, let's find a new route. Let's find a petrol station. There's one over that way. So if we go out there. I'm going to find a petrol station. Turn left. Mm -hmm. That's weird if I find my own. Garage. I've got a petrol station in it. Down here, I think. Yes, I think my my garage is right there. Okay, so I'll turn in here and get some fuel. What I'll do first of all. And there are else. Keeps on the left all these barrels and stuff out of here. Must be sacking workers in this one.
if we can. to see. Hear that? Sounds like a sports car now. Turn it over again. This might not make it a third time, eh? How far have we got to go? Oops, keep pushing. Come on. Still got four hours, thirty minutes ago. I didn't get any closer then after I turned it over, did I? Turn right. Turn right. I must admit, I hadn't turned it over on the uh, on the first run. I've turned it over twice now.
track windows in it, did I? where I turned it on, wasn't it? So I'd actually gone backwards. Well, a long way. And believe it or not, I've used nearly half a tank of petrol to sit in this fire. Or diesel. diesel on the other side but I'm not going to I'm not going to bother I've got about well, three quarters of a tank uh, just about so it's a bit lower on my gauges on the tablet it doesn't quite agree with what's on screen miles away are we? No, one hour forty.
Actually gone up and turned it down like it was before, <laughs> which one do I believe? Neither. Well, oh, this is creeping up in speed. I've not actually dropped my foot down. I'm just resting it on it. Fuel time. This is a first debug in this. Before and let's make sure we can actually get through here. You do that. Go straight on rear computer. Keep right and then exit right. on the right goes on that well, anyway. Oh, that was surprising. I didn't expect that actually. Keep right and then no, exit right. Away now. Shield. Let me see where I'm going. Go straight on. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Here we are. Safe and sound. Let's see where these want this drop in. Okay, that side. Let's see where we can do it. Let's 
Maybe we can get this in the inside wall. Not crashing into it. Come on. Come on. Oh, you bugger. I went wrong a bit too quick then, didn't I? straight but that'll do I'm not complaining and that's it guys that's it for this one's second one because I forgot to record the first one and uh, yeah a bit of a strange one to use but quite fun quite fun even though I did roll it twice, uh, second time I couldn't understand why I wasn't really going that fast. But it's the way it is. And don't forget, guys, if you're going to use this for anything else, you can always put the big wheels on it as well. As long as you can uh, find a trailer that you can go under. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.